Welcome to Gardens. The first thing we need to do is connect our Web3 wallet by clicking on Enable Account in the upper right hand corner. You will need to be connected to the XDAI network and have either a MetaMask or Frame wallet installed to complete this step to log into the Gardens app. If you are a member of an existing garden, you can scroll down to find it in the list below. If you're looking for a garden to join, you can explore by clicking on any one garden to learn more about it. For the purpose of this video, we'll use the Agave DAO. Let's click in to view the garden dashboard where the governance features are located. Here on the Agave Garden Dash, we'll look at each of the features that are available. Starting at the top, we see two options, Covenant and Get Agave Token. You should begin your garden's journey by clicking on Reading Through and Signing Your Community Covenant, which exists as an IPFS file containing the rules, mission, and vision of the DAO. Once you've read and understood the covenant, you must sign it to bond yourself to the values of your community and unlock access to governance features contained in gardens. Back on the dashboard, you should determine whether or not your DAO has issued a token prior to becoming a garden. If this is the case, you'll see a token wrapping interface which you must use to perform governance activities. Wrap tokens can be unwrapped at any time. If your DAO did not issue a token prior to creating a garden, you will not be required to wrap your tokens. In case you need to acquire tokens, a get token link will be provided for each garden at the top of the page to take you to HoneySwap. Now let's turn to the main governance features available to you as a garden member. If you wish to submit a proposal to the DAO for approval, you will need to deposit the quantity of tokens required for both creating and challenging proposals, in this case, Point One Agave. You can complete this action by visiting the Deposit Manager via your Account Options menu. Returning to the Gardens dashboard, we can find the option to create a proposal on the bottom right hand of the screen. It's important to note that proposals created in Gardens are linked to an external forum post where extensive prior discussion is expected to have occurred. In the center of the dashboard, you'll find tiles with pending proposals. Each proposal is marked gold for funding or green for suggestions. Scroll down to view active proposals and click on one you find interesting. On the proposal page, you'll find all relevant details such as a brief summary and link to the proposal text related token quantities and wallet addresses, and proposal status. A separate video will cover the mechanics behind Garden's proposals known as conviction voting. For now, you can simply support a proposal with a portion of the tokens in your wallet. It's important to note that you're not staking or locking your tokens in any way. You can even trade them while supporting a proposal, although this will result in the decay of your support for the proposal over time. When evaluating a proposal, it's important to bear in mind your garden's community covenant. If a proposed action runs counter to the values of your DAO, you can begin the challenge process by clicking the button on the right-hand side of the screen. This will trigger a series of events potentially leading to the utilization of Celeste, a subjective oracle capable of resolving community disputes in a decentralized manner. In order to successfully challenge a proposal, you must have sufficient honey in your wallet so that Celeste can be engaged if necessary. If you require honey, you can click the Get Honey button to visit HoneySwap. If your honey is subsequently engaged through the elevation of a dispute to Celeste, it will be returned to you should your position prevail at the end of the resolution process. You can learn more about Celeste by visiting the Gitbook Wiki or watching one of our YouTube tutorials. To conclude, the first thing you need to do is sign your community covenant. After that, you can either wrap your tokens if necessary or proceed to the next steps directly. Once you've wrapped, you can support any proposal that you like, and you can also head to the deposit manager if you wish to either create or challenge proposals. The last step remaining is that if you require honey, make sure you visit HoneySwap in order to obtain some to hold in your wallet in the event that you wish to challenge a proposal. With that in mind, we welcome you to Gardens and encourage you to reach out to us with any further questions over our Discord.